straight talk with your host Reggie B. Come on, let's all join in. Free your voice, it's your choice, alright here. Oh, simply straight, simply straight talk. Welcome to the Simply Straight Talk Show, a podcast about real life with real talk. Each week, we deliver the best hard-hitting conversations on topics that affect you and me every day on this journey called life. Now, here's your host, Reggie Maddox. Hey, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Simply Straight Talk Show. Today, we have Melissa. You guys been asking and she's here, so shut up. Ask me about her personal business. She here, she can tell you herself. Hey, Melissa. Oh, what a lovely introduction. <laughs> thank you, Reggie, for having me. And thanks for all that's been asking about me. Uh, again, I appreciate that. I I thought I was going to be more consistent hopping on here, y'all. My life is hectic. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm here, you know? <laughs> yeah, cause they, you know, they was like, so where's Melissa? Yikes. Yeah, we, we, we hear Angelique, where's Melissa? I'm like, okay, I told y'all she got things. She We grown folks. We got a life. Okay? So here she is. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear no more questions. <laughs> That's funny. It's like a running theme in my life. Like, where is Waldo? Where is Melissa? Because I just... I'm not intentionally just like ghosting anybody or just trying to disappear or fall off the face of the earth. It's just, I I do get busy and I do have these ridiculously crazy kids and I got these cats and my nephew's here. So it's been a, it's been a hectic summer in trying to get this (laughs) business together because, you know, things was, uh, it was falling a little out of place. And I had to put them back in place and put people back in their place. Let me calm down. It was, uh, <laughs> it was an interesting past few weeks. <laughs> well, we are glad to have you back. We always glad to have you on there. Always bringing laughs and funny. Oh, so, listen, y'all. Me and Melissa was kind of chatting, and we came up with it. Well, actually, Melissa came up with a great topic suggestion, and she wanted to talk about establishing and maintaining a business, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm. When she said this, it hit home. I was <laughs> like, yes, yes, th- this is a great topic. Because a lot of people out there want to start a business. A lot of people are talking about starting a business. And a lot of people are asking other people for advice about starting a business. And to put it point blank, a lot of people are telling people bullshit. Mm. And they are not getting the real facts about starting a business. And they find out that it's either overwhelming or they just give up. Talk about it. It is. (laughs) <laughs> it's a, a a great thing to be able to you know start your own business you're like yeah i want to work for myself and you know i'm not gonna have to take this mess from a customer and i'm not gonna have to deal with that and i'm gonna be able to do whatever i want and go on these lavish trips huh i mean you know that's Ooh. nice if kim kardashian and all of them get to live their lives that way even though i still don't think that that's the way her life is either but it's not <laughs> <laughs> what people portray their life as on social media these days and how their business is that's just not usually how that goes like it's just it's so much work that goes into it not to say that anybody should not try it absolutely try it right but make sure that you're doing your research don't mm. just take one person's opinion and and their their thoughts and like you know what that's facts that's it you know they're t- i don't got to worry about anything else i don't got to focus on anything else i don't do anything no do please do your research it's so much to this and there's people that just like to skip over all of the the beginning of a business like so many you know, businesses fail in the beginning because there's not enough planning and people didn't know what they were getting themselves into. Exactly. And it's just, uh, it's, <laughs> I said, I'm not fitting to fail today. So, you know, <laughs> therefore, Melissa's been a little, little busy these past few weeks because, you know, I, I hopped into my voiceover business 
and I knew what I had to do for voiceover. I did a ton of research for a voiceover, for editing, for script interpretation, all those types of things. What I didn't do research for <laughs> is, you know, it is still a business. I didn't look at it that way. I looked at it as, all right, I'm just over here. I'm going to say some funny things. Reggie's going to hire me to, you know, tell people to leap into the sun. And then somebody else is going <laughs> to hire me and I'm going to be in somebody's cartoon. And, you know, that's it. I never put in the fact that I have to market myself or that I have to, you know, oh. stay on top of my my bookkeeping, my accounting, because I don't I'm not paying anybody for that just yet. I will be. But, you know, there's there's so much involved. I had to put a schedule together. Like, yeah, I work from home and it can be distracting at times or people think that I have time to just be sitting here. So people just show up at my house or they just call me and I'm like, hey, 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 I'm working. But, you know, <laughs> it's uh, trying to understand that people aren't, you know, getting it. They're like, ah, you're home. I'm home, but I'm not home. Okay, so it's just there's so many pieces and parts to this that, you know, I'm trying to find an honest person to help guide you through this. Cause, you know, I don't yes. know everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these daggone schemes and scams. All, you see all these life coaches out here that don't be oh, knowing nothing. I'm like, nothing what? at all. And oh my gosh, they 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 sell so much bullcrap, and they make it look pretty. Their Instagram looks good, and they'll be like, you know, you can live your life like this, and they can be in a mansion, and their social media posts they'll be so inspiring, and then they're like, yeah, I started from the bottom, now I'm here, okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, you know, they don't really get into specific like what they had to do to get there or what it is they're even really doing or how it is they can truly help you they just say i'm gonna transform your life and you know they make it sound good dress it up but there's really no action plan here like you they, they just really what yeah <laughs> oh gosh <laughs> yeah, i think a lot of people you're right. A lot of people don't do their research. Mm -mm. A lot of people do look at some of the celebrities and people now like Kim Kardashian was handed money. Mm. She's not self-made people. Mm. Kim Kardashian did not work to get what she got. It was given to her. So that was passed down to her family. And I think a lot of people see these celebrities and they're thinking like, Okay, well, she got this or he got that. You got to pay attention to how this person started their business. It's a big difference when you're starting from the ground up. And like Melissa said, you have to do the research. You have to do the marketing, the advertising, and you're looking for help versus we're millionaires. So listen, just take a couple hundred thousand, start out, and I'll fund the rest. Yeah. I wish I would have had that. Me too. You know <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice when you can blow other people's money and don't think about it. Yep. Yeah, but and I think a lot of people. No, here's the biggest thing I hate about people who want to start a business. You got us. There's no such thing as a free business. Oh my gosh! Yes. No <laughs> such thing. Oh my gosh! And you know, you might get on YouTube and or you know you're clicking through different ads or something like that, and it'll be like top 10 things and you know you can start a free business and it just it's really no such thing it does it doesn't exist like you there's always going to be something that you're going to have to pay for for anything like i mean people see that i do voiceover and they're like oh okay you don't really have to put any money into this what do y'all think i'm talking <laughs> do you think i'm talking on my iphone even if i was talking on my iphone that ain't free <laughs> not okay my might cost money. And let me tell you something, the, the mic didn't come with a stand. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that is so true. They don't come with a stand. No! <laughs> oh, my gosh. And what do you guys think I'm reading my script on every day? Like, some days, yeah, I might use my phone. Sometimes I'm going to use my iPad um, because, you know, I might be doing something else on my phone. And then the laptop. I went into this with a cheap older model you know laptop it was good for zoom mm -hmm. and i think that was it don't download no games <laughs> try to watch no netflix 
But that's what I had. And I thought that that would be sufficient. It was absolutely not because I do a lot of editing. My editing software is not free. <laughs> oh. oh, gosh. The, the Canva that I need to make certain Instagram posts or whatever type of things or that's not for I got a subscription. There is a free Canva subscription, but I think it comes with like the watermark on it. Yep. I mean, yeah. So it's yep. like there's no free business. Like people really see certain things and they're like, oh gosh, yeah, they do that. Like even the I think for a while, you know, TikTok and stuff like that, Instagram and all those social media people, I think to a certain degree in the beginning they can start off and doing stuff and it'll be free. But in order for their business to last and to be able to sustain the the, 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 the test of time and all these different you know, because <laughs> there's so many different platforms that come out and you know, they're always battling each other. You you gotta put money into some things. And it's it's just really no free business. I don't care what anybody be out here you know, trying to tell you, I mean, you may not have to pay thousands and thousands of dollars, like, you know, somebody selling, I don't know, shirts or something. I know those, those shirt machines, they cost some money. And yeah, then, ooh. Yeah, or to get the inventory for, like, your makeup uh, line or something. I know that costs probably more money than some businesses do, but, and then on top of that, you got to stay on top of your finances. Like, would you just go on, just, just, just blow it all and. Like, oh, well, I, I think I made $20 today, and I'm going a, I'm to a write down when I got to do my taxes. I, I made five. Like, no. <laughs> you gotta. <laughs> you don't want to be in trouble with the IRS. I'm not scared of nothing but the IRS and, and, and God. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> Anything else, it is what it is. But you don't want to play with them. So, you know, those, they have different, um, like, the bookkeeping and accounting tools and all that. But they, they cost some money, too. Or you can get an accountant. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not there yet, but I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I do my own. Yeah, yeah. Because it's uh, expensive. It's expensive. These things, they really do add up. And I just, you know, wish that people would let people know that sometimes. Because, you know, especially with the pandemic, you know, there's so many people that were unemployed or so many people that had to, you know, figure out a different way to make money. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to start this business. And that's cool and all that, but then they realize, oh, man, this is more than I thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, I feel you there, buddy. Me too. Um, but <laughs> what you call it? But you don't see that on social media like that. You see after they didn't went through all the storms, after they tried this and it failed, and they tried that and it flopped, and then they tried this and it was looking crazy. You know, you don't, you don't see that part. They just want to... You know, show you the shiny part, the glimmery part. Like, oh, look at all the vacations that I'm on and all this stuff. But there's so much more to that. It is. And it, it bothers me because I hear a lot of people. So like when people ask, especially on YouTube, it's like, okay, so how did you get started doing your YouTube videos? Or how did you get started in your business? business? And everybody says the same thing. Oh, you know, you know, you want to be a good YouTuber? Just keep posting. Just keep posting. Mm. And I'm like, okay, you can post 800 videos and still don't get any likes or subscribers. Tell the truth. You need to know how to write a good script. You need to know how to market it. You need to know how to collaborate with other people. It's almost like people, when you ask them for advice, they are not giving people the truth Oof, yeah. about what they really need to do to be successful. It's, I mean, especially like if I want to be a voiceover artist and I ask Melissa, now she would tell me, but some people would just be like, Oh no, just, just try it because they see you as competition. So they don't really mm. want to help you. And that's so crazy. That competition thing I got, um, you know, and I'm gonna break it all the way down. So I was in a class. y'all. <laughs> I was in a class. I had a coach, uh, started uh, sometime last year and he was one of those those i'm gonna make it look nice shiny type of you know people and i actually did some research on this man so it was so disappointing to find out later that he wasn't who he said he was he was taking um courses from other voice artists and then he would market all that and he'd be like yeah i was in this and i was in that and you know i know how to do voiceover so i'm gonna be your coach i'm gonna sell you this this and that and 
somewhere down the line, you know, me and another classmate, we figured out that he's a liar. Um, <laughs> <laughs> everything that he told us wasn't uh, false. It, it was true. However, there were some things that he was saying that just didn't quite make sense. Like one week we're trying to find our niche. We're on our micro niche or whatever. We're trying to figure out where we're going. The very next week we're making a website. There should have been like something in between there. Like we just figured out our niche. How are we go into the website? What are we putting on this website? You know? So mm. it was just different things that he would try to hop to that didn't quite make sense to me. And then I was like, all right, but you know, he's got to know what he's talking about. Like, I'm looking at his follower count. I'm looking at how he advertises. I'm looking at his his um, reviews that he has from other people. I did also see there were some bad reviews. But, you know, there's always going to be somebody who has some good reviews, some bad reviews. So I was like, okay, I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and so I'm rolling with the punches, but some of them punches weren't making any sense. And I was like, oh, I don't. I don't know. And he started to really contradict himself throughout the course of our classes. And I was like, this ain't right. This ain't right. So me and a girl, we talk it to each other and we started to form this bond that it's like we help each other tremendously to the point we were like, I don't know who even going to take this class anymore. Like, because you're giving me so much knowledge, you find out different things because she's taking different courses and classes on top of what she was doing with him. Uh huh. And this is something that she, like, kind of just started with the voiceover. I'm still very new, but I've been in, a, like, a, a year or so longer than she has. So there are some things that I'm able to tell her. And, you know, we just put those things together and we try to operate from there. And it's like there's no comp – like, she's also one of the black young women who's trying to do voiceovers. I don't see her as competition at all, not because I'm like, ah, I'm better than her. No way, shape, or form. It's just there's so much opportunity for everybody. Like, we can all eat out here. We need to be helping each other. But that's yes. just not the case for so many different things. Like, my sister, she wants to start her own business, and she's trying to figure out different vendor lists that she can get. And she'll be messaging people trying to find out. They will not tell her. They're like, oh, go go ahead to AliExpress or Alibaba or whatever. She's like, I mean, I know about that, but where else can I get a list from? They will not tell her because they're like, you my competition. How you even know that y'all trying to sell the same things? <laughs> and even if you are, <laughs> you may be marketing to a completely different audience. Maybe she's trying to market to, you know, the younger demographic in the urban area. And you trying to, you know, market to the older white ladies in the suburban area. You just, if y'all would talk and be open with each other and, you know, stop trying to, you know, shut people out because you think, oh, my gosh, this is a competition. Like, Exactly. Good, especially in our community, unfortunately. <laughs> and I yes. hate to say it, but good grief. I see it so much more with us than I see it with them. Because they will collaborate. You see, you know, you get on anything. The white people are all on each other's stuff. The yeah. Indians, the Asians, they are in it together. We out here, ah, I'm Miss Independent. I did this by myself. I'm the CEO. <laughs> I'm on my own. Wait a minute, brother. <laughs> we can help each other. We can, you know, build each other's businesses up. Like, we, it doesn't have to be a, a, a one-man show all the time. Like, yes, it's your business, homie. But, dag, like, let me help you. You help me. Help that. Let me. Why can't we be a community? Damn. <laughs> You are so, and, and that's the thing. It's like, I have actually, I mean, you kind of talked about this. I have joined, uh, my black people, y'all know I, I love y'all. I love y'all. But I have joined groups that have been specifically for the black community. And there's either bickering or yeah. jealousy for no reason and it's like nothing gets accomplished. But when you join some of the other groups, it's like everybody's helping each other. The communication is flowing. People will even promote you. Mm. And it's just sad that we have that competition among ourselves. And like you said, everybody else can collab together to actually make things work. Right. And if you're starting a business... That whole thing of I do it by myself, I'm telling you right now, it does not work. No. 
You have to collab with other people. You are gonna have to learn to work with other people because it's a business. And for you to be successful, you got to work with different people from different cultures and you, you got to, you can't be this whole, I'm going to do it myself because number one, you're going to get drained, overwhelmed. Oh, gosh. It, it's going to wear Cause when I first started, I was doing everything myself. Mm-hmm. And then I just realized like, I couldn't keep up with this. You know, I was writing the scripts then I was writing the lyrics. Then I was forgetting stuff. Then it was like, especially if you got a website, cause a lot of people think if I just create a website, then all of a sudden my business is going to bloom because the whole world is going to see it. Mm-hmm. Even with that, you got to promote your website, which means you got to spend money. Yeah. And sometimes you can find people that'll help you. And like we were just saying, some people don't want to help you because they feel like even though your website is about music and their website is about baking, they don't want to help you because you're going to take some of their customers. You know, it's it's just so much that you got to understand about starting a business. Like I said, not trying to discourage you, but you got to be realistic about what's going to be what's what's going to be required from you. Absolutely. Because if you just jump in this thing thinking that you're going to do this and every you're going to be rich in a couple months. No. I, I would love that. No, I'm Jay. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, but that's that's so true. You gotta, you know, just because you, you know, are the the main person doing things, that doesn't mean that you can't, you know, hire some people to help you or ask some people to help you or work with other people. Like it doesn't. I know at one point in time, like you, I was doing everything <laughs> by myself. I mean, and it was. Um, it was starting to be a lot. And I actually have a father who can help me with so much. <laughs> that I just, <laughs> And not even like a financial thing, but he's in this type of industry. And he's, he's capable of editing uh, videos or voiceovers or writing scripts. And it was just never, it's not that it, it was never a thought to me. It's just, I'm like, huh. I'm grown. I'm gonna do this by myself. <laughs> I'm start my own business. I'm not asking my dad for help. If it was somebody else, I probably would have asked them for help. But I was like, I don't want to ask my dad for help. But it it was so much that I was trying to do, and it was in the midst of COVID and trying to. I mean, we still in COVID, but I mean, you know, in uh, we were in the beginning of the the lockdowns and everything, and I'm trying to do the homeschool with my son. I'm trying to get my daughter to walk. My sister and my nephew are here, <laughs> and, you know, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to put this website together, and I was like, I'm, I'm going to cry, y'all. I'm, I'm going to cry every day in the shower. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> and then my sister just kept saying, just ask him. He, I feel like he would help you. And it just was such a weight off my shoulders to be able to act like now he like, oh, what do you want now? I always <laughs> ask him for something, even if it's just for some basic knowledge. Like I, I just, I don't know. You, we need to be able to, to ask other people for help. I mean, that doesn't mean that you're weak. That doesn't mean that you're not capable of running a business. That doesn't make you less than it just, I mean, everybody needs some help at some point in time. No yes. billionaire became a billionaire by themselves. Everybody needed help. I remember, uh, what was it? It was uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And Uncle Phil was saying how, somebody, I think it was Will was saying to Uncle Phil. And he was saying how he wanted to do stuff by himself. And he was like, yeah, I'm a man. I can do this and this. And I'm going to be like you. And Uncle Phil was like, that's bullshit. <laughs> I had help. <laughs> like, I didn't get to where I'm at by myself. I had other people help me. And, I mean, that's that's the same for your business. Even if you are the owner of it and it's your name out there melissa vo llc hit me up that does not mean (laughs) (laughs) that doesn't mean that you can't get some kind of help and assistance and you know uh i realized i had to start you know giving up some things like you know i edit i do the voiceovers i put ideas together but i don't want to write any scripts not that's just not my thing so i 
I given that responsibility up completely. I, I can't do it. That's just not something I want to put my mind into doing. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I felt guilty at one point in time, like, oh, gosh, I'm giving responsibilities to other people. But that's okay. That is okay. That doesn't mean that it's not still my business. It is. This is this is mine. Yeah. But I need help. I, I, if I do it all by myself, like you said, Reggie, it's draining. It is so draining to carry it all on your own every single day and still wake up and, you know, take a shower and brush your teeth every day. Like, <laughs> you still got other stuff you got to do outside of your, you know, your company. Like, you still got to be a whole human. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. So, it's a lot. Pass those responsibilities off if you can. Exactly. I mean, uh, let's take starting a business. If you, if somebody's out there talking about starting a business from scratch. Mm-hmm. I know everybody's different. Like I did my website myself. That took me six months. Yes. That's <laughs> hard. What did you use? I used just host. Okay. And at first I was using the drag and drop feature. Mm-hmm. And people, this is what y'all got to understand. You have to be willing to say, you know what? Bad choice. I had to make so many changes along the line. Mm. I was using just hosts. I was using the drag and drop. Then I realized people could not comment on my site unless they use Facebook. Oh, wow. So any other, you have to have a Facebook account. Some people didn't like that. Then I realized that, okay, with drag and drop, it was certain features you could not do because everything was sort of a template. Mm. So you was restricted in how you can set up videos the design oh, yeah. and i didn't want to go to wordpress because i didn't want to go into coding yeah so then i ended up using a bunch of widgets so it's like okay now i gotta learn what all these widgets mean uh. which one is up to date <laughs> with my site which one works with my site then i had to worry about the security features because somebody hacked my site mm. and all of a sudden you click on my site and you were shopping in japan Oh, Lord. <laughs> so now I have to pay $50 a month for my security so my site can't get hacked anymore for security features. Mm-hmm. Then there's updates you have to do to your website because every time you add a widget or you change your theme, all those little parts of your website, you now have to do security updates to those. Mm-hmm. So every so often I got to log into my website do all the security updates and then you got to work on keeping your website active with something new. So when people come back, they're not reading and seeing the same thing. Right. So it's like a lot of people think you just make one website. That's it. Go conquer the world. (laughs) And it's not like that. It's like, so now that I got the WordPress site, I had to get into a system of at least once a week logging in, checking everything, mm-hmm. making sure everything works. Then you got to make sure. Now, listen, a free website is not the best website. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I had to realize that, okay, so I pay my, I think mine is every three months. You could do three months, six months, or a year. Oh. And a couple times I have forgot that my website was due. Right. And it's like, your website is offline. Like, crap. Uh, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, damn, Squarespace? Jeez. <laughs> yeah. And I think a lot of people don't realize that when they build a website, like, you have to make your website interactive. I didn't realize how important colors were on a website. Mm. Yeah, that's what I found out for Instagram, colors. <laughs> yep. I didn't realize that. So I had to change. My original website was like black and, well, first it was blue and gold. Then it went black and yellow. And then it was like, no, no, no. Those are all the wrong colors. Those are negative colors for people who look at websites. I'm like, okay. Mm. So I had to change it. Finally, I got a good colors. My original logo, I had to change. Yeah. Because it didn't really match. It, my logo, your logo, it should tell, when people see your logo, it should give them an idea of what you're about. Right. 
my logo told you nothing. My original logo was a sword with RMVIG. That's so interesting you say that. I was just looking up, changing my logo just this morning. See? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, because you know, it's got the VO and the O is highlighted, kind of. The VO is highlighted, but I was like, uh, do you know what I'm doing? I should have threw a microphone or something in here. <laughs> See, because uh, how much about, because some people say they spent $500 for a logo. Oh. I spent $49. I, I spent zero because. The person who did mine happens to be my ex. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you got your logo. <laughs> right. I was like, oh gosh, now how do I go back and say, listen here, <laughs> I know I didn't pay for this, but uh can you do something different? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. But yeah, it's so it's trial and error. I mean, that's anything, but you know, business is definitely one of those things where you got to try a lot of things before you figure out what works and even when you do find out what works things change so much that you know what worked yesterday may not work tomorrow so you just have to make sure that you are on top of so much (laughs) it's uh it's a lot to do on the daily basis like you know there's some days that I didn't make any money that day, but that doesn't mean that I'm not working, like, in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. And that was something that was really hard for the person I was with to grasp. I was like, there's so much planning and preparation and and understanding and learning that comes with this. Like, I mean, not just voiceover. There's so much, there's so many different areas of this that you know I need to learn and understand let's say I do pay somebody to do like I started paying people to edit my voiceovers but they weren't doing it the way that I wanted it to do to be done so yes I, I gotta learn how to do this myself because I'm I'm having a hard time explaining my vision <laughs> to other people <laughs> so it's like the same thing with my website initially my very first website my dad did it all for me and it was complete opposite of what I told him I wanted. <laughs> but I couldn't explain to him what I wanted. And he, like, I, I could say it, but he didn't hear me. So he wasn't seeing what I was saying. <laughs> seeing what I was saying. But <laughs> so I was like, I have to figure this out. So we ended up working on that together. And even still, like, I'm months later, still going back and trying to fix things. And I was adding stuff last week. It's still not considered done to me. So when you say it took six months, I'm... Six months. I wish I was on six months. I don't know what month I'm on, but it's definitely (laughs) past six. (laughs) It's just, it's so much that you have to, you know, you figure out and learn and things that I, I watch different people talk about voiceover and they, that was all that they would speak about was just voiceover and getting on certain platforms. And that was it. There was no... Yeah, I gotta learn this, 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 that, 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 and that. And then this changes consistently. So then you're gonna have to relearn this, this, that, 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 and that. So I was like, oh, okay. So that's cool. Yes. <laughs> so I'm, uh, I am busy throughout the day. That's got it. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, you know, the, the person I was with, he come home and he's like, so you didn't make any money today? Listen here, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> That just did not mean I didn't do anything. He'd be like, well, what did you do? And I could tell him, but because he doesn't have to do it or he's never done it or, you know, has, he don't care nothing about that, which is fine. That's understandable. But he wasn't understanding. There's real work that goes into this. And I'm trying to explain this to some of my family members. Like, that's why when I was saying in the beginning, it's like, who wears Melissa? I put my phone on do not disturb a good chunk of the day. Like, Everybody knows if you call me back to back, then it's just going to come through. I think that's for any phone, really. Like, Mm -hmm. um, you call two times in a row within a certain amount of time. You have the option to put that on your phone that it'll come through. But that very first time, that phone call, that text message, it's not coming through because Melissa got ADHD and (laughs) Melissa gets very distracted. You could just say, hey, I say I'm busy. You say, okay, cool. We hang up. I forgot what I was doing. I am lost in the sauce. Now I'm walking around thinking about making cheeseburgers. So <laughs> I can't let 
anybody take me off of what I was on. Unless it's an emergency, I'd be letting people know it is not anything personal. It's not that I don't want to talk to you. It's just I am in hyper-focus mode right now, and I cannot lose that because it takes Mm -hmm. a while for me to get back on there. So I need to build a schedule for myself and, you know, get everything together and and, and block out the distractions. You know, my TV is off all day. I love watching TV. I can't can't even turn it on. I don't even know what a remote is right now. Where's the remote (laughs) control? Who knows? I haven't seen it in three days. (laughs) <laughs> my kids probably know but i have no idea my phone is on do not disturb and silent right now and you know uh if i need to, i check my emails consistently i check my text messages and i check to see if anybody's called me but i just can't have that notification going off and vibrating and making flashes because i got the strobe lighting on my phone <laughs> because it just it throws me off and You just, you got to stay focused in a successful business. I mean, you can have a business, but I mean, if you don't have any real focus, then things are going to be all all over the place. And who who wants that? Nobody wants that. (laughs) (laughs) And I think that's another thing I think a lot of people struggle with is when you're starting a business, the support factor. Mm -hmm. And I, now I'm just speaking for me personally. I'm just saying my family ain't shit. Damn. Cause <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that coming. <laughs> I, 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 I'm just gonna tell it like it is. <laughs> now, cause and I hear other people say it, probably not like I said it. But if you're starting a business, just keep in mind that oftentimes your family is not always gonna be your strong. Now this don't apply to everybody. Right. But your family sometimes would not be your strongest or even the ones that support you. They'd be the last ones on the bandwagon after you'd have made it. I exactly. always knew that you was going to go far. Because <laughs> <laughs> you laughed when I said my plan. Yeah, <laughs> <But> see? Okay. <laughs> they do. Because I found, like, there are people that I have never met, don't even know, and, like, Tone G. That's why I always give this man... A shout out because never met him, but this dude plasters my stuff anytime I do something on Instagram. No. Whereas my family <laughs> will post any and everything, but never anything that I post business related. Right. So that's why I think a lot of people get disappointed because when they look at the support factor, they think that. If they present this to their family, their family's going to be like, okay, we're going to share it with all our coworkers and all our friends. Mm-hmm. And oftentimes it's crickets. Yeah. You don't hear nothing. And I've been through the same thing. It's like when you're in a relationship and you've got your own business, I was sort of, sort of similar to you. I was dating somebody who was just kind of like, so what's going on? You know, Mm -hmm. they think that because you got your own business that they're going to go to the bank and see $5,000 in the account every day. (laughs) You know, (laughs) Mm -mm -mm. it doesn't work like that. So if you don't have somebody that's really understanding with a business mindset, you know, you guys are going to have arguments. So just expect that, that you guys got to have a conversation that they understand Mm -hmm. that how the money comes in. They need to understand what you do. You may have to actually show them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of them, they really don't. They have no clue. Right. They they think that you probably work five minutes a day and that's it. Right, and it's not any, like, bad thing that they think that because prior to you doing all the research that you did, you didn't know. So it's like, like Reggie said, it's a very good idea to show people, like, this is it. This is what I have to do. Like, spend a day with me, and then you'll see what the hell I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm just talking about, you done work yet? It's been two minutes. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. That uh, that hit home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he was not trying to understand. And, yeah, like, I, I could make some money. But I have to put it right back into the business, and that's what Ooh, some that is. Oh, people thank just you. don't <laughs> understand. Like, all right, say I made such and such off of this voiceover. Yeah, it may have been a very quick one, and I'm like, ooh, look at this. Or this was a good week. Oh my gosh, I have had quite a few good weeks, and people are expecting me to, you know, do this, this, and that. 
No, that goes back into marketing. That goes back into planning. That goes mm-hmm. back into social media uh, stuff. Like, it, I, it. sometimes I see it and sometimes I don't. Like, it's just, I mean, I see it. It's just, I don't, I don't see it on my plate when I'm at the, the steakhouse. It's not <laughs> the, the way I thought it would be. <laughs> you, you know? <laughs> Sheesh. It's tough. It is. And you know what? Melissa made a great point. When you do make some money, it does go back into the business. Mm-hmm. Because there's, all, like, I got so many subscriptions. Oh, gosh. You know, it's like Clean Feed, you know, for the audio, $22 a month. Canva, $13 a month. You oh. know, it's, yeah, it's like you're paying all these monthly fees. And it adds up, so you got to cover all of that. Good grief! Ain't nobody, ain't nobody let me know that. No. <laughs> Good Google Mugga. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do this for free, like, cause I started off with um, what is this thing I was using? Audacity to do my my voiceovers, and it was cool and everything like that. But everybody's like, you need to hop on Adobe Audition. All right, let me do that. Twenty dollars a month. Okay, <laughs> you know what? That's fine. That's fine. All right, let me let me get my email together. They're like, yeah, why don't you get you know real professional email? All right, fine, six dollars a month. <laughs> See, <laughs> you know, all right, let me put some instrumentals on my stuff. It's it's license free, royalty free. We gonna be good. Fifty dollars a month, like it adds up. It adds okay? up. So you can make you can make money. You can make good money. You can have a great successful business. But I mean, it it doesn't always show the way that you think it's going to show, especially initially. Now, over time, I do believe, you know, things can go great. And sometimes, you know, you, you see, you see some good stuff. You see, I seen this one guy, he does voiceover. He said his very first year, he probably made like $80 because <laughs> he went and he put his money right back into his business. So mm-hmm. after everything was done, he got like $80. He now has a giant house with two horses. So I'm like, what is, what, what's up with the horses? But whatever. You know, <laughs> you know, you know. <laughs> so he just stayed consistent. That it's really, I mean, I know you was talking about the um, the posting consistently. And they're like, ah, yeah, that's how you get more followers. You definitely have to stay consistent. But there's so much involved in it. And be, you have to stay consistent with everything that's involved. You got to, you know, something may have failed and then you got to rework it try again go back to square one and put something out again and to hell with what other people think good 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 my god i mean like you know there's there's people i know that want to start businesses right now and they're like oh my gosh i want to hop on social media and do this this and that and they'd be like i'm scared of what my family will think or i'm scared of what this person may think or if it's going to fail Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. You don't know until you try and you keep trying. Like I have not done well uh, quite a few times since I started this in 2019. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> it's just can't stop. Won't stop. Uh-uh. Okay. I'm not stopping anything and neither should you. Now you can refocus how you do things and, you know, adjust, make adjustments. But if this is something you really want to do, this is what you're passionate about. This is it for you don't don't stop stay consistent like just you know you got to put in work and you got to figure out what you can do differently it's a trial and error all the time but if you're over here thinking about oh my gosh well my my ex and my cousin tonisha and my friend from down the street that i knew back in the fourth grade is going to think funny about me who gives a damn (laughs) (laughs) are they paying your bills are they paying your subscriptions? <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Good grief. Yeah, you want the audience to like it for sure. But, I mean, if you have... The audience will come, okay? The people that are supposed to like your content, they're going to like it, all right? I mean, you're going to find your audience. And sometimes your family just isn't that audience. And that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, you're not always going to have the them as your cheerleaders right in the front seat and everything like that. And that does not mean that you should stop or you shouldn't start whatever it is you want to do. To hell with them. <laughs> <laughs> you can still love them. They can still love you. That doesn't mean that they don't love you or anything. That just means that they're not the ones that you have to look for for su- support and motivation and encouragement. Like, I got plenty of family members 
that I I don't really get that from. I don't know Reggie personally in real life. Like we met through this and he's so much more supportive than <laughs> I think a good chunk of my family combined. So, you know, you will find the people in life that is going to help encourage you and motivate you and the people that want to watch your content or buy your your merchandise and stuff like that. And you may have to, you know, shift things around, re refocus some stuff, but got to stay consistent and you definitely have to do your research good grief <laughs> oh yeah research is so important mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. important because it's like I, I think a lot of people because I, I admit i did my research but i didn't know how in depth my research needed to be yeah oh, that one you know i thought like oh okay yeah i'm gonna because my main thing is my consulting thing then it's kind of like okay Oh, this is easy. I'm just going to create a little platform and all of a sudden just tell people what they need to know and they're going to give me money. <laughs> How wrong was I? You know, it's just, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you got to do your research about how many, like, you need to know how many people are in your market. What argit, what argit, what audience you're trying to target, mm. you know, and what is your, what is your target audience? Like, what is the age range? Are you doing, are you seasonal? Are you looking for men and women? Or is it men and women? I know, like for me right now, my target audience is men and women between the ages of 35 and 54. Mm -hmm. That's the primary audience that I get because I got more mature content. Right. But if you are doing something to where it's like, the booty shaking and you know, the guys out here with their shirts off and all this stuff, then you're going to be going for that younger audience. Cause that's what they go for. Mm -hmm. But you got to know your target audience. You got to understand your product, your service, whatever you offering. Mm -hmm. And you got to know how to price yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I think a lot of people think I'm going to charge four to five, like Melissa and Angelique do the voiceovers for the scripts. And a lot of people say, well, I'll do it. Or like, but okay, send me a demo. If you want to be a part, send me a demo. And like Melissa said, Melissa has an actual microphone. She has software. She's not using her iPhone with birds chirping in the background. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you got to understand that when you're trying to start your business, you want to sound professional as possible. Mm -hmm. You want to understand your market. You want to understand your competition, your price point, your audience. All of that is part of the research. Absolutely. And how are you going? Like, I didn't really pay a focus on advertising like I wish I would have. Okay. And people, I first thought, you know what? Reg is going to do a TV commercial. Mm -hmm. So I called a TV place. Okay. They told me the price. I said, hell no, he ain't doing no TV commercial. <laughs> Because it was literally like $20,000 for like 30 seconds. Oh. So I reached out to some YouTubers, like big, like what's this guy? Now, this is no offense to this guy. Ryan George, who does YouTube, he, he's known for the pitch meetings. Okay. And I'm like, oh, okay, for the movies. I'm like, okay, cool. Let me see if I can get him to maybe do a little spot for me. And I knew it was going to be out of, I knew I'm too cheap for him when <laughs> I emailed him and his representative or agent emailed me back. Oh. I was like, okay, this ain't going to work. And he said it's $12,000 for 15 seconds. For 15, uh, well. Yeah, I'm like, <sighs> advertising costs money. Advertising yeah. and marketing, it costs. It really does. Good grief. I'm out here finding this out the hard, hard, hard way. <laughs> Good grief. But really, like, I wish that people would have been upfront with what it takes to do certain things. Like, not that I would have not started my voiceover business, but I definitely would have done things differently. Like, yes. I had, good God. Like, I have my coach. You know, I started with him last year, the end of last year, but I started voiceover in 2019. And I got more work between the time that I started in 2019 up until the time that I started working with him. <laughs> and then I started working with him. And then it just was like, 
Oh, what the hell? Am I still working? Is my mic on? <laughs> Can y'all hear me? Oh, okay. Just check it. Um, <laughs> so, you know, it was like, oh, all right. And because I'm listening to the things that, you know, he's telling me that I should do. And it was starting to go left from where mm. it is that I want it to be. And I should have wrote it all out, put a real business plan together. But I didn't think a voice actor needed a business plan. You know, like I'll, I'll say to certain people that I know want to start a business. And I'm like, I think y'all should put a business plan together. And they're like, well, I'm just trying to do this or I'm just trying to do that. I don't really need a business plan. Okay. You know, that's fine. Listen, hey, do what you want. But I'm just saying, I think it's a good idea to be able to, you know, get your target audience in mind. You got it on paper. Get your mission statement together. You know what it is you want to do and where you want to go. And how is my phone making noises? Shut up. And, <laughs> <laughs> and you know, you have an idea of how much things are going to cost you. You get to do real in-depth research. Oh, and yeah. It wasn't until this past month that I finally sat down because, you know, the whole thing with my coach just blew up in my face last month. And or was that in May? What's today? Today, August? August. So it was either the end of June, beginning of July, one of the two. I think it was last month, though. I don't know. And, you know, I found out that he was <laughs> not who he said he was. And I had already had it in my mind that I don't think I was going to be working with him anymore because I was like, I don't. I don't like the way that he's directing us to go. I feel like he's skipping a few steps. And, you know, he wants us to be here, here, and there. But I'm we not there because you skipped here and that. So I was like, let me figure something else out. So that's when I started to put my own business plan together. And I sat back like, what? <laughs> wow, <laughs> this is going to cost me. Okay. And then this is, and then I should have, and then, uh, mm, yeah this business plan should have been my step one. I mean, of course, practicing and getting better with the voiceovers, that all the way had to happen, and I'm glad that I did do it, but the the the, the business side of my <laughs> business is really something that I didn't put any type of thought or focus into, and then when things started to go left with my coach, and my creative side was starting to crumble. I was like, oh my gosh, and my business side, the, 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 the other side, that side was never right to begin with. Now the side that was making me the money is starting to fall apart. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we, um, so we, I gotta go head back to square one. We're gonna, we gonna do this thing over again. So every day I'm learning something else and I'm like, oh my gosh, and I'm finding more information that I just, it would have been nice to know at some point in time two years ago, but it's cool. It's um, trial and error, and you learn, and life is one of the best teachers out here. <laughs> yeah. Good grief. I, I wouldn't know what I know without life. <laughs> <laughs> because it's, it's definitely not easy, and it's like, I think people... Yeah, everybody has big ideas. Yeah. And, you know, even when I see people on social media and something, I, I, one lady got mad at me because she was talking about social media and connections. I said, if you want to start a legitimate business, you need a social media profile that's personal and I will keep that locked. And then you need a social media profile for your business. Mm-hmm. And you do have to be mindful of who you associate with. Mm -hmm. Because there are some people that have said, oh, I follow you. Then when I looked at their profile, like, oh, you're out here with drugs and guns? Uh, no. That's my brand. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> I, can't, I can't be associated with you. And it's nothing personal. And I let them know, like, hey, you know, your content goes against what my brand stands for. And some people can't understand that. Some people, what I see a lot of people doing now is using, uh, how to say it? They're using more like sexual stuff to lure people in. Mm. But it's like, okay, yeah, you may be getting a lot of followers based on this, but they're not really looking to support you as far as what you do. Right. So you're getting a, a mixed audience. And like nobody told me about, 
using social media, actually going through and using the analytics. Right. And it's like, I never paid attention to that. Then it's like, okay, I should have been paying attention to that because it tells me right. what time of day most of my list, my right. audience is on or my followers and all this. So now I'm sort of, I'm sort of catching up to all that. And it's like, oh, like me and Melissa talked about it, like Pinterest. I didn't know Pinterest was where most of my, you know, people were finding me at. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't even use Pinterest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, th- I was focusing on Twitter. It's like, no, no, no. Nobody's finding you on Twitter. Okay, buy Twitter. <laughs> you know, so it's this constant adjustment you have to make. Definitely. And it's, it just takes patience. You got to be patient. Oh, my gosh, yes. Patience. Patience is virtue. It is key. It is not, you're not going to have any overnight success. Just get that out your head right now. If yeah. you're going to start this business and you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow. Stop it. <laughs> Stop yeah. See? It. And even the people that do, you know, there's plenty of people that get rich quick and all that. And then sometimes you don't see that business anymore because it just, it didn't have a good structure and it fell through and I'm like, oh hell. See ya. And um, <laughs> you, don't, you don't want that for yourself. So, you know, be patient, like he said. Take your time. Nobody, people be out here trying to keep up with the Joneses and trying mm. to be in competition with other people. And like, well, if they're at this part in their business and in their life, then I also need to be here. And like, you're not competing with anybody but yourself. It's nobody, nobody's going to do what you do. Even if they're selling the same thing or they have the same service as you, you're putting your own you spin on it. So it's not going to be the same thing. So you're not, you're not in competition with them. You're only competition with you. Cut it out. Stop it. And you just take your time. Make sure that you, you know, you got what you need before you do. I mean, people put themselves out there and they're not ready for certain things. And, I mean, you can grow and, and, and do okay and all that. But if you have the time, you know, just try to plan some stuff before you start it. Not saying that you shouldn't start it. Start it. I want everybody to start it. <laughs> <laughs> I be telling everybody all the time. There's this guy in T-Mobile. I felt so bad for the man. He wanted to quit his job. They ain't had no air in there. It was one of them hot days. It was Ooh. hot and humid, and the air stopped working. They kept having to close the store early. And he was saying, I don't have enough money to pay my bills, and they won't send me to another store. I said, um, I'm, I am i don't know. He's like, I'm tired of working in retail. And he was a, a uh, I don't know how to say it. He was a bigger man, and he's like, he is not working at Amazon. He wasn't. He wasn't doing no Instacart, or because I'm, I, I do Instacart, y'all. I just want to put that out there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, ain't nothing wrong with it. I'm not ashamed. I do no. Instacart and some shit because I still have to pay my bills. Okay, sometimes you know, I, I, I gotta put my money back into my business for the voiceover, and that money's not paying Melissa's rent, and it still has to be paid. So Instacart ship, and he's like, you know, I can't do stuff like that. And I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe you can hop on and start a, a freelancer business or something like that. I, I don't know. But, yeah, he, he, he just felt so sad. I felt so bad for the boy. I'm trying to give him different resources and stuff. And I'm like, you can try this. You can try that. I mean, to make a Fiverr account is completely free. My, I mean, I got a $35 mic initially, and I hopped on Fiverr, and I started putting different pictures together i don't even think i started using canva yet when i hopped on and you know it it paid some stuff but once i started becoming more serious no it it, <laughs> it wasn't uh fiber's great no fiber's great i like fiber but i told him why don't you try you know to do something different it sounds like you've exhausted a lot of different things in retail he's like i'm done with retail and i can't do this job and i can't do this job and nobody will hire me because of my size and i was like oh my gosh i mean you got to get creative buddy i'm sorry yeah. I'm, I'm, you know it, it, it's going to take you some work regardless of whatever it is you do no matter what job you're in whatever you you pick you're going to have to do some sort of work it's just do you want to you know work for a job that you hate or do you want to find a job that you do like or do you want to work for yourself whatever it is you, you, you're gonna have to put in some work i don't know i don't know sir i just need <laughs> him to fix my phone i was only in there for him to fix my phone and i heard his whole life story and 
I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for checking out the show. Melissa and I really appreciate you guys tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this conversation on establishing a business and some of the myths that are misleading regarding people who want to start a business. This was part one. So go ahead and check out part two where we got more information that we want to share with you on starting a business. Thanks for listening to the Simply Straight Talk Show with Reggie Maddox. If you like what you just heard, we hope you'll pass along our podcast to your friends and colleagues. And please leave us a positive review on iTunes. Be sure to check out our archive section on iTunes, Spotify, Libsyn, and YouTube. Join us next time for another edition of the Simply Straight Talk Show.